Kenny Orlando is a multi-genre artist from Queens, New York. He's a great artist and hopefully through this video you can learn a little more about him. If I ask, could you tell me who it is you wanna be? It's your name up in the lights and you're staying up these nights. I got a feeling that you got some problems hitting on the that you keeping out of sight cause you can't put out the fire. Kenny grew up in Queens doing stuff like skateboarding and had a passion for urban exploration. He was in pursuit of new experiences. Growing up, he listened to a mix of hip hop and alternative music. He said he grew up in not the greatest neighborhood and he felt like his group of friends were outcasts for the music they enjoyed. Linkin Park was Kenny's favorite band growing up because of the way they blended his favorite genres together. In a sense, Kenny actually found his way into music through poetry. English was a second language growing up and in school they had him in classes that made him focus on creative writing a lot. When Kenny was in 8th grade, his brother who was in a ska punk band moved away, leaving his recording equipment behind with Kenny. It was at this point Kenny started to experiment with recording his own music. Kenny actually opened his own studio before he started taking his own music seriously. With a business mindset, he said charging people for studio time seemed like more of a realistic goal at the time. He said he was only making music for fun and didn't consider making music as a career until about 2019. He was talked into taking music more seriously by his friend Kill Me Someday. Kenny started out posting his music on a variety of platforms, but was introduced to the SoundCloud scene from his friend Popstar Bills. From there he started dropping a song a week on SoundCloud and eventually the algorithm picked up on his output. One of the first songs of his to get traction early on was his song called Crack Horror with Kennedy XOXO. That came out in December of 2020. He felt that song made him feel closer to where he wanted to be as an artist. Kenny was one of the first members in the collective known as Yard Sale. The collective came about through the members just being close friends before the collective was founded. He was in a different collective originally titled Divine Nine with his friends growing up. Kenny feels Yard Sale allows him to be more experimental with his music. Currently, Kenny is working on an album that he wants to turn into a movie. He has a whole storyboard for this visual concept album project and is working on getting a budget together for it. He's young, talented, and motivated. I see great things in the future for this artist. That's all for this video. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe for more mini documentaries on various underground artists.